They've been inundated with anti-Semitic propaganda, Nazi propaganda, Jews and Poles. They've got smaller brains than everyone else. They were, they were taught the art of torture and of murder. An That's an house that was designed for somewhere between 15 and 20,000 inmates. On average, this place uh, would house in prison some 36,000 inmates. And its most overcrowded black house in January of 1945 has 46,000 inmates. These barracks were designed for about 145 to, 100, to uh, 150 inmates. Usually there'd be 300 inmates per barrack, if not more. There'd be three or four men to a bunk. You'll see an example of these bunks a little bit later on. They were tiny. They were crammed in, packed together as if they were animals. Now the first thing you'd have to do on getting up is go and use the bathroom. Imagine trying to go to the bathroom in that 45 minute period. You know, 300 men trying to do exactly the same thing. Three hundred. Yeah, here are we now with Saxenhausen. And now I've been here with the brokken and the film. So it was not... Det som var speciellt att se det var att så fort trångt de låg in på det där soverommet. Så det. det är många starka historier vi hör när vi går runt här och det är rart att tänka på vad som skedde här den tiden. tried to escape and you were caught, you would be paraded around in front of the entire uh, camp population. They'd be forced to work vastly off Zelenko. He's working in the... This room was a gas chamber. They'd used the gas chamber for experimental purposes. They'd experiment with the different types of Zyklon B gas available. We do, however, know that this gas chamber was used somewhere between two and five times for mass. So people would arrive at Station Z believing they were due to have a prayer. They would arrive in through that door over there, they'd come down in through the corridor, they'd come into this large room right here. This room, large room, was waiting. Loud music would play in this room. All which would happen in there is that the inmates were told to take off all of their clothes. That's all which took place. And all he would do is he'd take a look inside of the inmates' mouth. If the inmates had any precious metal fillings, any gold or silver fillings, a cross would be made on the arm. If not, a circle would be made on the arm. That's all which went on in that. Then the inmate would walk through into this section here. This section here, um, it was a double wall section and supposedly able to muffle out the sound of the gunshot.
that medical practice went on took place inside of those barracks and simply uh, just places of rest and recuperation. So hopefully uh, on being brought to those barracks, uh, the inmates would get better after several days and continue on work. Um, those people which we meet so as to hopefully prevent um, you know another Zaxon house from being set up. It is very likely that something like this um, will take place again in the future and it's up to us on learning about what's taken place in the past, learning from the mistakes which we've been made to make sure that this just does not happen again.